Hello everyone, Chris here, and today I'd like to tell you guys about the Pomodoro technique and the associated Foster Booster application, which utilizes that technique. So, whenever you're not doing things so productively and you're getting sidetracked a lot, one good way to fix that problem is to put yourself into a regiment where you basically tell yourself, okay, I'm going to get stuff done during this period of time, period, and then later I can goof off for a few minutes and uh, do the other things I need to do. Maybe call someone back, send someone a Skype message, or watch a YouTube video, or something of that nature. And Pomodoro Technique basically takes that and puts it into a simple system. So the idea is for about 25 or 30 minutes, you go ahead and you get work done. Uh, as you can see with the Foster Booster app, it defaults to 25. And then after each of those 25 minute periods, which is called a Pomodoro, is completed, then you are able to reward yourself effectively with a five minute break. Of course, you can vary the numbers a bit, make it 30 minutes and then a five minute break, 25 minutes and then a seven minute break, whatever you feel comfortable with. But there's a few more things that go into it just than the timer. First off, if you have any interruptions, you're either supposed to um, basically tell whoever just called you or whatever just distracted you, like uh, the idea of clicking on a YouTube video. You basically have to tell yourself, no, no, I'm in the middle of working. I can't do that right now. You have to get away from that, negotiate your way back to getting to the work you're doing. And if you fail to do that, then what you would do is mark an interruption. Uh, whether you're tracking this technique using a pad of paper or an app like Focus Booster application, um, you basically just lose the Pomodoro if you fail to do that. And that's supposed to basically um, encourage you to keep working, get back to working, and don't throw away your progress. Because if you're getting sidetracked every two seconds, you're never going to get anything done. So it's uh, sort of a deterrent from getting too sidetracked right there. Now, uh, as far as the Focus Booster application goes, there are multiple applications out there which do utilize the Pomodoro technique, but this is the one I like. It might not be as full-featured as some of the other ones, but the other ones, in my opinion, look kind of ugly, and uh, this one's just simple. So, basically, you log in. Uh, you can sign up to have an account where... Um, it'll actually track your data and send back to the server. Of course, they have a premium service too, which isn't necessary in my opinion, uh, though it does allow you to export your data. And uh, in this app, you just boost it up, uh, boot it up when you're going to start working. And when you're ready to start working, you can just hit play right there, and it'll start tracking your time, where you can just go ahead and minimize this. Of course, it has a ticking sound, but you don't have to use that. In fact, I prefer not to. Also a mini timer, so you don't have to have this whole thing open. And you just go click this and then get your work done as you need to. But if you want to go ahead and disable that ticking sound, there is a preferences menu, menu over here. I definitely prefer to remove the ticking sound, but keep the session complete sound. Set the session length, break length, uh, ticking sound. Uh, da, da, da. Break complete sound, I usually want that too. And minimizing the main menu whenever uh, you... Let's see. I think that's whenever the mini is opened. Okay, so if I was to do that... Yeah, okay. And yeah, more or less, just using this technique to help you get work done does tend to help. At least it does for me. Because uh, it's just so easy these days to get sidetracked by YouTube, Facebook, Skype, whatever, or uh, people calling you with stuff. And it is important that you do stay productive, you get what you need done, and this is just one way to do it. So the Pomodoro technique, uh, you can look up Focus Booster. There's more information about this technique on Wikipedia, uh, the Pomodoro technique. You, Whenever you see uh, a timer that's um, tomato-based, it's probably going to be referring to the Pomodoro technique. Um, Pomodoro is Italian for tomato, so <laughs> they just made that a cute symbol for this whole idea. And as if you want to go get Focus Booster, I believe it's uh, focusboosterapp.com slash download. I'll put the link in the description. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and let me know in the comments section down below. Uh, I hope if you guys try this out, it works out for you. Uh, it can maybe help you save a little bit of 
Well, not, not time so much, but make your time much more productive so that you get more done throughout the day. Um, yeah, if you want, let me know how this technique works out for you or if you have some other ones. Aside from that, I've been Chris, and I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.